This audio file is recorded for www.osmanian.com. Dr. Patubhi Sitarimaya, 1880-1959, better known as the historian of the Indian National Congress Patubhi was born on December 24. 1880 in a poor Antirinai Yogi Brahmin family and took his MB and centimeters degree in 1901 from the Madras Medical College. Soon after his education Patsubhi moved to Majilipt Nam and set up practice as a physician. When the partition of Bengal, 1905, sent a wave of protest throughout the country, the leaders of Majilipt Nam including Patsubhi strove hard to awaken the national feelings of the people through the press and by organizing lectures and harai gathas. The youthful Patsubhi was at first inclined towards extremism and became an admirer of the Lal Paul school, that is, of Lala Lajpatrai, Borgan Gadatilak and Bipin Chandrapal. Soon he became a member of the Home Rule League of Dr. Ami Besant and ultimately became the Gambhite. Patsubhi made Majilipt Nam the centre of his activities. Here he started, in 1919, an English nationalist weekly, the General Bummy. The General Bummy continued functioning till 1930. At Majilipt Nam he started the Antilla Bank. His association with the Indian National Congress goes back to his college days. In 1916 he became a member of the All India Congress Committee and gave up his medical practice. Soon he was elected a member of the Congress Working Committee and continued in that position until 1948. On the issue of dominion status versus complete independence Dr. Patabhi, like Jawaharlal Nehru, favoured the latter. He was elected president of the Antilopurna Swaraja Singham. In the Calcutta session of the Congress, 1928, he voted against the Ilpati resumption demanding dominion status. On the eve of the Salt Satyagraha campaign, March 1930, Dr. Patsubhi toured the villages of the East Krishna district and spoke to the villagers about the campaign. He himself broke the Salt Law in April 1930 by leading a batch of volunteers to the seashore near Majilipt Nam and making salt. He was arrested and sentenced to imprisonment for a year and a fine at R.S. 1100. In October 1933, he was again arrested while picketing a shop selling foreign cloth and sentenced to six months imprisonment and a fine at R.S. 500. Towards the close of 1938 Gandhi nominated him for the presidentship of the Congress when there was a growing extremist wing in the party but he was defeated in the election. Gandhiji took this as his defeat against Subhas Babu. When Gandhiji launched his campaign of individual Satyagraha, 1940-41, Patampi was chosen to participate in it. He was also arrested during the Quit India movement. He was released in June 1945. In December 1946 he was elected to the Constituent Assembly from Madras to work out a constitution under the Cabinet Mission's plan. In 1948 he was elected President of the Jaipur Session of the Indian National Congress. He was the Governor of Madhya Pradesh from 1952 to 1957. He passed away on December 17, 1959. Though Patampi was a popular Congress leader and held in high esteem by Gandhiji, he did not hanker after office and did not take part in elections to the provincial assemblies or the central legislature. He took pleasure in working for the organization and in writing and publishing books. His earliest publication was National Education, 1912, of which K. Hinamanthero was co-author. In the subsequent years he wrote and published Indian Nationalism. 1913, single quote the redistribution of Indian provinces on a linguistic basis, 1916, Nun Cooperation, 1921, History of the Indian National Congress, Volume 1 appearing as the Golden Jubilee Volume in 1935 and Volume 2 in 1947, and many more works.